Boom. Boy, I came in like the strong sand showing the little guns, boy. I ain't gonna say little guns because these like the biggest guns that you ever seen. Look at that. Why, why, why? Watch close. Look. Boy, stop playing, man. This Man, y'all ain't never seen nobody with some bigger guns than this before, man. Tell them to get at me, bro. If they really want to know the secret on how to get this big and built, tell them to get at me, bro. But... What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good, confident gang? Y'all already know we back in this thing, boy. Woo! Sorry, man. I had a little, if you feel me, I had a little bring the guns out today because it's a beautiful hot day. So I had to bring the guns out. But, video for today. Second video, reacting on stream. The first video, y'all, the first video we did. Yo, look, look at the views. Like, bro, look at the views we got on that jump, bro. Like, and that was all off of three days, bro. So I was like, what? Thank you, Confident Gang, for all the love that you guys show me. Thank you to, for, for everything that you guys do. I will be doing a giveaway soon. Like, I got everything planned in line on how I'm going to do things. So I got, I got, I got. Don't don't y'all think I forgot? No, I didn't forget, bro. I'm trying to I'm trying to show some love. I'm trying to I'm trying to give back. You feel me? <sighs> but video today we'll be reacting to twelve animals. Oh, why do I keep saying twelve animals? Twelve times, animals ask us for help. I never. I'm glad that people actually got this on video because I want to see how this is gonna be. I want to see like how they're gonna do it. I wonder if it's gonna be like a like a, a squirrel walk up to a person and just tap them on the shoulder and then just you know how squirrels be like and then try to get their attention let's jump into it let's get it let's do this to get through life we as human beings at one point need to ask for help but what if the mm. tables turn and we are asked to help boy. but this time around not by our usual Freaking colleagues scary. and fellow humankind Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Forever Green. Grab a <laughs> bucket really of popcorn, choose your favorite snake, seat bro. for today, as we are going to show you 12 times when humans encountered animals that asked for help. Even though they can't communicate by word of mouth, credit to these humans, <laughs> right here, as they stop. were able to interpret out, and immediately bro. offer the needed help to these animals. 12. Whale Shark In the March of 2003, Joe and his friends were fishing near Sydney, Australia. When a whale shark approached their boat, the shark, as seen in the footage, hangs around probably waiting to be noticed. He about attack. I see him attacking. On close I examination, Joe saw the desperate fish had a rope tightly lashed around its body. This was making it difficult for the shark to swim. Since the movement of the dorsal fish fins was limited, to Joe, together with the help of his friends, tried to cut the rope. And to their amusement, what? the shark patiently stayed afloat without any sign of attacking or swimming away. After what seemed like a decade, they managed to cut loose the rope. <laughs> and the whale shark swam away as peacefully as it had arrived. What would you have done if the whale shark had approached Mama. you? <laughs> Stab that thing right in the head. Oh, yeah. 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 Let us know in the comment way. section below. Who they got a map look like I do? 11. Elephant. El Elefante. Proper name for it. I don't know why they say elephant like elephant is their terminology for the word. No, it's pronounced El Elefante. Let's get it. Truly. The largest mammal on the planet is a fascinating creature who is also no. very intelligent, well, the wall. an elephant. Weak. Unfortunately, elephants are listed as vulnerable to becoming endangered species because of being the favorites of poachers for their ivory. <laughs> Veterinary doctors in Zimbabwe were utterly shocked when a huge African elephant walked up to them asking for help. At first, why it's got to be an African elephant? Why can't it be? Why can't it be a regular elephant? Come on, man! Come on, narrator, bro! Come on! You gotta get this stuff right, bro! You gotta get this right. The doctors who were out in the wild on a patrol were uncertain if it was just the usual of an elephant being territorial, but on a closer look, 
They noticed a bullet wound on its head. Ooh. They immediately knew that they had to act fast as the bullet hole had become infected and the gentle giant seemed to be in excruciating pain. To avoid causing more trauma on moving the Bro elephant, fail. the vets had him sedated and then examined his skull out there in the wild. An x-ray of the skull revealed that the poacher's bullet was only a few centimeters from it being a kill shot. Out in the wild, the doctors managed to successfully remove the bullet. The elephant, now named Pretty Boy, got a chance to live longer. What's fascinating is how the elephant was able to tell that the vets were the good guys and entrusted them with his life. That is crazy. I mean, how did Pretty Boy tell they were not poachers? What do you think? Let us know in the comments section below. That's really crazy. Fortunately, it is said that an elephant never forgets. Good if the poacher never crosses its path again. In this next hey, no. video, a mother <laughs> elephant in Thailand is captured crying for help in the cover of darkness. The mother elephant is stuck on an electric fence and unknown to the rescuers, her baby is also stuck in a ditch. The mother elephant is seen, gets stunned by the current passing through the fence, and rescuers rush to turn off the power. On getting up, the mother elephant then leads the rescuers to her trapped baby. As if to understand, the mother elephant gives the rescuers a humble space and time to rescue her baby as she watches from a distance. Finally, the baby is pulled out of the ditch, and they both rush to each other in joy. The mother elephant and her baby then disappear into the night. How satisfying. How savage. 10. King Cobra. Oh my gosh, bro. I hate these animals. What would you do if a snake approached you? Running. Not what just any snake, but a 10 plus foot long cobra. I mean, I would take off, if not stumping on its head. Duh, well, I need that, but I'm snakes are fond hair, of asking for help. Uh, As we all know, <laughs> summer can be a tough time for everyone. So why should snakes be any different? In this footage, it? a twin. Time out, bro. Time out. Time out. Wait a second. Wait. Wait a second, bro. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. This freaking snake really went, crawled up, slithered his way to the person. Ready to get some water. Bro, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Stop playing. That would have been a smooth. See, I would have snuck up behind him, grabbed him by his little neck, and just... Twist that thing. Foot Cobra is rescued from an uh, Indian village where it had slithered into. This man really. Since it was drink. during the dry season, the cobra was looking for a drink to cool itself. It, the rescue workers are recorded bro, feeding the really cobra feeding water from a water bottle. Right now. What a tender moment to it's see. Really... After quenching its thirst, the rescue workers then take the cobra to a sanctuary. Honestly, this is adorable, yet terrifying at the same dude. time. Or what do you think? What would you have done if a snake approached you without aggression? Let us know in the comments section below. How did he? How did they know he needed Nine, water though? Fox cut. That's the thing. That's crazy. In June 2013, this video of a young fox with its head stuck in a glass jar was uploaded on YouTube. Even though we don't know the exact location, judging from the language used in the video, you sure, you sure, lucky. This was taken somewhere in Russia. Unable to free its head, this young fox walks up to these men who happily freed its head from the jar. He was quick to get away, boy. On being freed, the fox trots away. As it runs, one of the Russian men is heard asking, Hey, what's our thank you? Why don't get our thank you? Fuck you mean? The young fox, as if it has understood the question, stops, looks back at the men as if giving a nod of gratitude, and then trots into the forest. It, How courteous I of the fox. Was a cat, honestly, bro. Do you show appreciation when help is offered to you? In this other footage, a mother fox is filmed while asking for help in Israel. Oh, the fox approaches this lady and leads like her that. to where yeah, four newborn pups are nestled. When fox pups are born, both the mother and father share the care as the pup care is a family business. Unfortunately, this mother pup could not trace the father and was probably overwhelmed with caring for the pups alone. The kind lady then steps in as a surrogate father and feeds the mother fox as well as her pups. Bro, stop standing this fox me, bro. goes against all odds and entrusts the kind lady to provide for them. Truly a mother's love is indisputable. 8. Bottlenose Dolphin There's a such thing as a bottlenose On the 11th dolphin, of January 2013, a group of photographers diving deep in the waters of Kalua Kanoa, Hawaii Kalua Kanoa, Hawaii Go! Why well, said y'all? Start on Met with one of the Can't magnificent again, creatures of the deep it. seas a bottlenose dolphin. The dolphin swam close to them while circling them until one of the divers saw what was disturbing the dolphin. 
the dolphin was entangled with discarded fishing gear. A fishing hook and line were deep into one of the dorsal fins, limiting its movement. One of the diver signals to the dolphin to move closer, and it surprisingly obeys and moves close to the diver as seen in the footage. The diver then cuts the fishing line and discards the hook using a pair of scissors freeing the dolphin. The relieved dolphin wow. is then seen swimming away, happily of course. Before we move on, like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and turn on the notifications in less than 5 seconds. You will have 10 years of amazing luck. Hurry up and try it, uh -oh. it actually works. 7. Uh -huh. Sea Turtle uh -huh. A diver, deep into the sea near the sea bottom, is filming his view of the coral reef when he notices a sea turtle approaching him. As the sea turtle gets closer, the diver notices that it has something, probably a rock, stuck on its back. Why does that stone a turtle? The diver then goes ahead and pulls it out. The sea turtle then turns and looks at the diver as if to say, thank you mate, and then swims away. What's fascinating is not only had the sea turtle realized it had something stuck on its back, but also how the turtle figured that the diver could take it off. And the diver would be smart enough to understand the kind of help he was asking for. How intelligent, right? That is kind of crazy. In this other video, a sea turtle is caught in a fishing net. He then swims towards boaters who quickly cut him loose. The boaters then release the turtle back into the sea, and he happily swims away, disappearing into the dark depths of the sea. Aww. 6. Chimpanzee That's actually kind of dope, bro. How they actually... While visiting a zoo, visitors were mesmerized as a smart Kill chimp points at a drink in one of the bro. shopping bags. Oh a lady takes out God. a bottle of soda, and the chimp quickly leads her they to the dropping dope. point, only that it's a small hole in the glass window. <laughs> she then pours the chimp the drink, who is seen sipping happily. At one point, the chimp is also seen pointing at a banana, and signals to the lady to throw it over to her. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, the chimp is in a completely enclosed and sealed setting, and thus, the only thing he will get to enjoy today is the drink. <laughs> Just how smart is it of the chimp to ask for a banana and a drink and Come also on, lead bro. the lady eh? to the smart orangutan. Helping out an orangutan? Break our hands. The orangutan asks for a banana, peels it, eats it, and then throws back the banana peels at the visitor. I bet the orangutan knows more of keeping his place clean than most of you, isn't it? The uh, smart orangutan that one, don't you think? That's it. No effort into it. 5. Dog In the streets of India, a mother dog is captioned wailing for her puppy. I can't do that noise, The bro. puppy That's had been weird. hit by a car <gasps> and was in excruciating Why pain, making again? it impossible for it to walk. Rescue workers were trying to calm the mother down as well as offer immediate help to the puppy. As the rescue worker tries to lift up the puppy, the puppy is heard crying in pain. And the mother joins him in crying too. The rescuers rush the puppy to the operating room. On close examination, the puppy had two deep puncture wounds on his shoulders explaining why he couldn't walk. After a few weeks of rest, medicine, food, care, and love, the puppy is able to walk again. Wow. What a happy reunion with his mother. Today, the puppy named Toggle can hop and play about, thanks to the rescue workers and her mom. Clearly, the mother wanted to help, but couldn't do it alone. That's actually kind of crazy, oh, yes. bro. I, I know your eyes are watery. Sweet. How touching. Is that a female fawn? In North California, a little fawn was bleeding close to Amber's residence, and when he noticed that he had gotten her attention, he quickly ran towards her. The fawn snuggled between her feet and even licked her ankles. Poor little deer must have been hungry and just a few days old because he could barely stand on his feet. You can't even stand up! Hey, you, you come to just letting them bite Normally, your legs. out in the wild, mother Trip. deer leave their little fawns as they go in search of food and water. This little fawn must have been left somewhere near Amber's <coughs> house. Why Amber left like the little that, deer yo. and Chill hoped out, he would with his Fix mother. Your legs, bruh. After a few hours, Amber Fix couldn't find her legs. and so she thought that this little guy was back in his mother's company. Amber went on with her day's work and when it came to bedtime, she couldn't sleep as she kept worrying about the little deer. They went out to search for him and luckily they found him asleep on a rock. They took him in and rehydrated him with milk, threw a glove, and even named him Scott. Oh, baby, this is all we got. The next morning, Scott seemed pretty excited to have gotten the help he needed. Turner's Deer Camp Fawn Rescue reached out to Amber and took Scott under their care and raised him alongside other little deers, and once he is ready, he will be released into the wild. 
Another little deer wandered its way in search of her mother when she, unfortunately, landed in a pool of water. She was able to cross to the other side, and someone managed to pull her out of the water. Wet and hungry, the little deer was left in a dry place a few steps away from where she had been found to give her mother enough time to locate her. A few Stay hours later, again. she went back to people, and from oh, her bleeding, he could tell legal. that she needed help. She was taken oh, in by the down. Woodlands Wildlife Sanctuary and Let given the, the care she needed. She even got a stuffed giraffe that would keep her warm and kill the loneliness. A few days later, she was joined by another orphan fawn. They are killing it. The two milk. grew fond of each other, and within no time, they were joined by four other fawns. They all seemed to be healthy, and when they got older and ready, they were let out into the wild where they belong. Days later, they could be seen happily jumping around. Aww. They Wait, still exist. I mean, they still exist. While out in the Californian Sea, a extinct. group of boaters were approached by a sea lion. The sea lion, as seen in the footage, hops onto the boat ladder and one of the boaters helps him on board. The boaters at first thought that the sea lion just wanted a ride, but on close examination, they noticed that he is injured and in desperate need for help. The sea lion has a wound on his mouth, which appears to have been inflicted by nah, fishing bro. gear. Bro is the in boaters the wrong immediately area. inform the harbor patrol, who respond quickly and deliver help to the injured sea lion. Another reminder that animals are definitely smart enough to ask humans for help. Nah, Has any bro. animal ever asked you for help? He ain't never asked do? me for help. Let He's us know in the comments wait. section below. Nah, he haven't. Two, a tiger. tiger. As much as it is hard Pronounce to believe, tiger, bro. tigers do ask humans for help. A village in Russia woke up to a shot. Pronounce tiger, bro. Stop saying tigers. Pronounce tiger. After they found a tigress peacefully sleeping on the veranda of one of the homes, they had previously encountered tigers, but not in this manner. They were surprised and scared at the same time. They quickly got in touch with the necessary rescue body, who then sedated the tigress to ease her relocation. She was in bad shape. After careful examination at the rehabilitation center, it was discovered that the tigress had damaged teeth and gums. As a result, she was unable to feed herself for several days and had become very weak. The tigress got the medication she needed, and she could also feed on soft minced meat. Her condition is stable, and she will be forever grateful that she landed on a good person's home. Still in Russia, a tiger went to seek help in a man's home. His instincts led him there, and funny enough, this man was a paramedic. The doctor like heard wait. some noise in the middle of the night, but it quickly subsided, and he thought it was nothing to worry about. When he got up to go to work, he could not leave the house because his door had refused to open. He resulted to going out through the window and figured out why the door won't open. On his way to the door, he could see large paw prints on the saw, and he immediately knew that he was in for a rude shock. He came face oh. to face with a tiger. He had no time to get back in the house, so he resulted You're in standing trick. there. I know some of you would have dropped dead, but this man just stood there, and the tiger walked slowly towards him. The paramedic then realized that the tiger had a steel wire around his neck, the kind that is used by poachers. Some of it had gone into his skin. The paramedic treated the tiger, and for the next two weeks, the tiger recovered in the paramedic shed. He was fed by the locals, and the paramedic ensured that his health was intact. What's even more surprising is that the tiger showed no sign of aggression. After the two weeks were over, the tiger disappeared. A few days later, the paramedic had trouble opening his door. He could see a tiger's paw prints, but this time around, there Bro, was a dead deer you on just, his door. You in a bad area. The paramedic you believed that this was here. the tiger's way of saying thank you. Don't you? Let us know in the comments section below. It is now time for the honorable mention of Bruh, our subscriber pick of the day. Tripping. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber wondering if there is any possibility for an animal a as shy as a squirrel really to even approach humans for a water bottle. If you come across come a peculiar on, photo online, send it over to us. We will look into it. Who knows? It might come feature on, in our bro. next video. Now, we looked into this photo and we are excited to reveal to you that indeed, when in extreme times, all sorts of wild animals will come to humans for help, no matter how shy or dangerous they are. There's a squirrel out there who really needed some help. And this brings us to our the number squirrel. one, squirrel. Ew. How does it feel when you're thirsty? Dry mouth I or gotta sports? See how this, how Dry he throat, came to name be. them all. And how good does it feel when you finally quench your thirst? It well, in this footage, a squirrel is seen asking for water from a kid. Chill. Thirsty. Do you want to? Bro, like, nah, bro. I don't want to give it to him. Pussy. 
The kid then goes ahead and opens the bottle and feeds the squirrel, which is seen taking in big gulps until the bottle runs out. This man really gave a squirrel some water. The squirrel then hops away in satisfaction. Must have been one thirsty squirrel. And that's it for the 12 animals that asked for help. Which of these animals overwhelmed your heart? Have you helped any animal today? Let us know in the comments below. Get out there and spread the love through help. Sometimes we Always are their last the resort, love. so do not shy that away animal, in case they I, come to you. I don't know, bro. Honestly, I've never encountered a situation with an animal where they ask for help. Unless you see like a um unless you consider like a turtle on the side of the road or in the middle of the road. Yes, I'm one of those type of people. If I see a turtle in the middle of the road, I will drive up. I will stop, I will pick it up, move it across the world, and then get back in the car and go, bro. Hey, just, just because. I, if you consider that as helping an animal or an animal helping you, I don't know, bro. But let me know what you guys think. Have you guys ever encountered an animal where they ask you for help? If so, hit me in the comment section. Let me know because I really want to know. Like, that's strange to me. I never experienced some stuff like that. But, you already know what it be, man. Everybody's video, we fuck with confident. My least, my favorite video was with the, um, with the chimpanzee, bro. This dude said, hey, yeah, 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 bro, get, yeah, throw it over here, bro. Damn, bro, I had them freaking hands. Bro, I said, bro, I said, bro, I took no effort into throwing that jump, bro. He just launched it was perfectly at him. But y'all already know what it be, man. I hope y'all have a beautiful, blessed day. Just know everybody's beating full confidence. Boom! Yeah.